Hi everyone and welcome back. This is Donna. I'm just dropping in today for a short visit to share with you my meal plan and grocery list uh, for next week. I will be doing the Walmart grocery pickup which I do on a regular basis. I love it. Uh, I've been using it for several months now and I've not had any problems with it. Um, I don't normally get a lot of meat there because I kind of like to look at what I'm buying for meat and I don't find a lot of good sales. I can find some sales on some of the meat products other places but for the most part uh, the rest of my groceries uh, I do get from Walmart. I've even gotten produce, uh, lettuce, heads of lettuce, celery, um, bananas I get on a regular basis and I've never had a bad product uh, so I, I think some of the other things maybe uh, I would want to look at but those things are fairly stable and you know the, the buyer as whoever is buying can certainly pick out uh, things that look good so I'm going to turn you around and take you over to the computer my plan is that I'm going to share with you on Fridays my meal plan and what I have on my grocery list for the, the next week. Uh, it's a great way for two things. You can see what you have planned, what you have made, and so that you can mix it up and you know, get everything uh, that you need to make whatever it is you put on your meal plan. And it also is a good way of managing your budget because you get a printout of exactly what you were charged and you can keep a tally of that. And then what happens is if I go to the store during the week and pick up something that either I forgot to put on the list or I've decided at the last minute I want to use, uh, I add it to my weekly total. Um, and I try to keep mine fifty dollars and under uh, for the week, and that's it's it hasn't been too difficult. Um, but I will say this week is is over because I've added some alcohol to my order, and that added up quite nicely. Um, my husband wanted a couple of cases of beer because they had a good price on it, and we're going to be having a group of people here later in the month, so we thought we'd get a couple of cases. And speaking of that, uh, I'm not by any means finished doing uh, decorating and making crafty things. I have some other things in mind um, that I'm going to be doing with you, but I thought this is just a little alternative type of video. Uh, I will put, by the way, a code down in the description that you can use if you'd like to do the grocery pickup. If you do grocery pickup at Walmart, um, you, you will get $10 off of your first order and it will give me $10 off of my next order. So it's a win-win situation for everyone. Uh, but anyway, the crafty things. Uh, I mentioned we're having some folks in at the end of the month and it's for a Sweet 16 basketball party. It's the college basketball when they reach the Sweet 16 uh, brackets we have a group of well we have 16 men and 16 women and the men go to one house and the women are coming to my house this time and we're actually right next door to each other and they pick a team they put all the teams in a hat and they pick a team and then that's the team and, and they they um, can win a small amount of not much of anything but they can win it's more of a social thing than it is anything else but uh, they will pick a team they don't have a choice they pick a team out of a hat and that's the team that's theirs and it's kind of fun it, I, guess, I guess it gives you more of an incentive to watch um, the games now it's very strange that I'm the one that's hosting this party and I generally would not be hosting the party but the couple that normally does is leaving the next day to go back to Canada there are snowbirds and so it would be kind of difficult for them their, their house will be all closed up including hurricane shutters and so on and so forth so they really couldn't entertain so I agreed to take it on because I'm right next door to where the fellas would be 
but I'm going to be very honest with you. I have no interest whatsoever in basketball and even less so in college basketball. And I'm sorry for you guys that really love it, but I'm not a basketball person. I'm a football person. I love me some football. And I like the boys of summer too, the baseball, although that's sort of like watching wallpaper dry. And um, when I lived up north in New England, I was an avid hockey fan, and I, I've kind of gotten out of that. So sports are, uh, and, oh, and I do watch golf regularly. Uh, but So sports are a big part of my life, but basketball just doesn't happen to be one of my favorites. But anyway, we'll have a good time. So, crafting. I was, that was a long message about crafting. I'm looking for inspiration right now. I'd like to make some kind of a little uh, centerpiece that is uh, applicable to college basketball. And I haven't really come up with a good idea, but as soon as I do, we'll make it together. I also have another craft that I have been viewing on uh, Pinterest. And uh, very honestly, it is something that I have never done. But it doesn't look as if it's that terribly difficult. Uh, and I'm going to try this with you for the first time. And I will tell you, I'll just give you a little hint. It involves a teacup. So, and and uh, so you can probably figure that out now. But I will be back with those crafts. But in the meantime, let's go look and see what I'm making for dinner next week. And how my grocery order is going. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. I've got two screens open here. I have my meal plan open, and then over here I have Walmart uh, grocery site open. And so the way I do this is I have my meal plan, and I, I plan out my meals for the week, and I will just go through this with you um, now. Sunday, it's going to be kind of a rainy day here. Uh, especially later in the morning or I guess probably throughout the day off and on um, but mostly in the afternoon so I'm going to make a nice lasagna while we're watching television I know it's St. Patrick's Day but we had corned beef just last week uh, and I cooked the corned beef in the instant pot oh it comes out so good and I made uh, Reuben's sandwiches so we're gonna head for lasagna this Saturday Sunday sorry I will be making my own sauce for the lasagna so I look at the lasagna and I say oh, what do I need for this I need the ingredients for the sauce and I need the ingredients for the lasagna I have a loaf of bread in the freezer because my recipe makes two and when I made spaghetti last week a uh, week before last uh, I made the, the bread so I have a loaf in the freezer that I'll take out and use so then I go over to um, Walmart and I put on my grocery list those things that I will need let me just move you over a tiny bit this way so you can see this is the cart my cart um, those things that I will need for my uh, lasagna I'm going to get let's see down here okay I have my pasta lasagna pasta I have two cans of crushed tomatoes. I have one can of tomato paste. And I have a 16 ounce, a 15 ounce uh, container of ricotta cheese. And I have some great value mild ground Italian sausage because I like to use Italian sausage as my meat base in my sauce uh, as opposed to ground beef. I think it gives it a better flavor. And of course you could make a Sunday sauce, which would be a Sunday gravy or sauce. And I'm not Italian, so I always called it sauce. With putting ground beef and meatballs and sausage pieces and pork chops and all of the other goodies. But this is going in the lasagna, so just the ground meat will be fine for that. So now I know I have everything for that meal. And I will look down at the next meal. The next meal I have is soup and sandwich. And I, that is something I already have on hand, uh, tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches. But I do need a loaf of bread, so I, I did put a loaf of bread somewhere here. 
Okay, I do, 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 do. There it is here. Great value white sandwich bread. Um, okay, so then we'll go back to the thing. And the next day is going to be leftover lasagna. The lasagna makes a, a big pan, a regular size pan, a family size of it. And, of course, there's only two of us. So we will have it twice. And then if there's leftovers, and there will be, I will freeze the leftovers. And it will be a great freezer meal for another day. Um, then on Wednesday, we're going to have chicken cordon bleu casserole, and I'm going to video that um, because that is something I tell you what, this is the greatest meal. It is so simple. It is a great company meal, quite fancified, but it's not difficult at all. So we'll have that with green beans and mashed potatoes. Uh, part of the recipe calls for ingredients that if you look at them, you're making chicken gravy. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to buy the chicken gravy. And I have some stock in the cabinet. But what I'm, I did put on my list was a couple of packages of McCormick's chicken gravy mix. Um, I also put on my list um, the green beans, a pound of green beans, and... I put on Bob Evans' instant, original mashed potatoes. Now, I, I, you can see I just put them on, actually. Um, I don't normally use instant, or instant. This isn't instant. They're already made mashed potatoes. However, if you look at my menu plan, I have no other day during the week that I'm going to be using potatoes. And so to buy a five-pound bag of potatoes, they would be going bad um, by midweek because it's so warm here even though we have the air conditioning on all right so then we have on thursday we have leftovers and i'm sure between the the chicken cordon bleu there'll be leftovers there um and then on friday we're going to have cheesesteak subs with french fries and pickles i have the french fries i have the pickles i have the cheesesteak and i'm growing and i would be I will be picking one of my own peppers out of the garden and I will have um, the pepper and the onion I have. I have sweet onions. Uh, so the only thing I will need to get for that will be um, some kind of hoagie roll or sub roll and I'm not going to get that now because I want it to be fresh. So we'll wait until uh, Thursday or Friday morning to go and get those. The other thing that I'm going to do is is Walmart's chicken is not on sale, but my local grocery store, which is directly across the street, um, actually within walking distance if you like to walk, um, is got chicken on sale and their chicken breasts on sale in their family pack. So I'm going to go pick those up there. So I didn't add the chicken to um, this. It obviously with this casserole, you also use Swiss cheese and ham, and I have both of those. The green beans and the potatoes are on the list. So I, I do have to pick up the chili, the Philly cheese, uh, the Philly rolls um, on Friday. And actually, you know, I understand that you can go to Subway and just ask to purchase a couple of their rolls, and we all know how good Subway's rolls are, so I might try that and see if I can do that. Otherwise, I'll just get them at the grocery store. And then Saturday, we're going to have a kielbasa with beans, chips, and pickles. I'm making baked beans this Saturday, and so when I make them, there's enough for two weeks. So I will put the second weeks in the freezer. And uh, so on my grocery list, I have purchased on my grocery list, let's see, a kielbasa. He'll shall farm poke. Polska kibasa, smoked sausage rope. Okay, so this is how I do my grocery list. I look at what I'm putting on my um, menu plan and then make my list from there. Now, my list is considerably higher this week than it normally is. And for the simple reason that my husband wanted me to get him a couple of uh, cases of beer because the beer was at a very good price. I've never done the beer on my... Uh, Walmart pickup. I'm sure I have to show my license or something when I get there, but we'll we'll check that out. <laughs> so obviously, if they look at me, they know I'm old enough. But anyway, um, let me just show you what else I put on there. I've also gone to see what else I need for the week. 
I, I'm going to need cereal, so I have some of these Honey Nut O's, the Great Value brand. I think they're delicious. They're just like a Cheerio. Makes no, um, you know, I think they're just as good. Uh, my husband takes Gatorade all the time when he's on the golf course, and he plays four times a week. He doesn't drink a whole bottle each time. It's about a half a bottle each time. So I get three bottles of the Gatorade. We always like to have bananas in the house. Um, Ritz crackers and saltine crackers are a staple that we, when they run low, we always replenish them. I have one sleeve left of the great, the saltine and, and um, a couple of my Cordon Bleu recipe takes the Ritz crackers. And then I have some rice also because that, that's a staple and I'm down to about half a cup. There's the two um, cases of beer. The Italian sausage, ricotta cheese, tomato paste, crushed tomatoes, pasta, bread, chicken gravy, beans, kielbasa. And then I picked up a couple of these bakery mini cherry pies. You know, the little pies that you can buy because it's a nice little dessert. Um, and it, if, we make, if I make a pie, uh, I make a very good pie, but if I make a pie, we'll eat a piece, and chances are we'll throw out most of the rest of that pie because it's just too much for us, and you don't want to have it day after day. Um, I've also frozen pieces of pie, too. But I just picked up a couple of these to have as desserts when you want them. I got a couple. They're only 50 cents each, and I got a couple of apple and a couple of cherry. I needed a new another pound of butter, so I have a pound of butter, and this is this in sour cream. Um, I'm going to be making some baked donuts. Uh, I just ordered from Amazon the donut pans, so you can bake in the oven. So I'm going to give those a try. Uh, my husband takes a chemo pill that requires food when he first gets up in the morning. So I like to have something either, uh, I have usually got banana bread or, you know, some, something that he can just take a piece of and have with his chemo pills. And so I think I'm going to try these donuts because if they're baked donuts, I think they would freeze up nicely and just take out a couple at a time whenever you want them. And then, of course, the mashed potato. So down here it says that I have 67, 66 in my total. I'm going to press checkout. And it gives me a look at things I have previously ordered um, and ordered more than once to see if there's anything here that I might have forgotten and I want to put on the uh, list and I can't see anything on this list that I need this time so I'm not going to order anything off of that so I'm going to press continue to check out and there's no available times today I'm mean, it's in the afternoon tomorrow I can go between 8 and 9 and that's when I like to go I'm up early so let's get there and then tomorrow see when I get home I'll have the ingredients and I can probably put my sauce together for the next day is when I'll be making the lasagna so I'm going to go down here and press continue and this is not where they're going to call um, and I will put in the phone number here uh, in a minute and then after I do that, I can check again here my list. It shows everything. Up here it is, it is um, said that I, I have checked here that you can substitute anything. And let me tell you, uh, when they substitute, they never substitute less than what you ordered. Last week I ordered a half a gallon of vitamin D milk. And they didn't have the half gallon, so they substituted a gallon. I mean, you know, it's just twice as much they gave me. And lots of times I've, I've been given the name brand when I ordered the Great Value brand, but I get it for the Great Value price. So you can't beat that. So here's a my whole order. And I'm going to go and put my phone number in and then click down here to place order. 
Um, and then, oh, I see here it has an alcohol disclosure. By checking this box, I confirm that I am at least 21 years old and will not resell any alcohol I purchase. So we'll do that. Um, so I'm going to shut the camera off before I put my phone number in, and I will um, place my order. So that's how it's done, and this is what I do every week. I have, then you have a record of what you've bought, and you can keep track of what you bought. I look back and um, check my menus, my meal plans, and see when's the last time that I had spaghetti because I don't want to have it every week but I want to have it maybe a couple of times a month or once a month um, I have some things in the freezer so we'll be using those up for the meat products next week but I just had I have another corned beef in there I have a turkey in there I have spare ribs in there um, so but next week uh, is another week and I'll start that next week's menu plan as soon as this order comes in because as you go through your cabinets and you say oops I'm running out of vanilla or something I just come right in here and put it on this pickup I love this pickup it is worth every <laughs> well, I was gonna say it's worth every penny but you're not paying any more uh, for the pickup as long as it's over thirty dollars you can pick it up um, so I let me put my phone number in and I'll be back in a couple of minutes with some final words so there you go. That's the grocery order and that's the meal plan. Uh, I will probably film making a few of these things just so that you can see that I know I am filming the chicken cordon bleu on Wednesday. Uh, now it may be that I choose to do that on Thursday instead of Wednesday or Tuesday but whatever day I do it I will film it. Um, the lasagna I can film. I don't think it's a big deal. I think everybody or many of you out there have made lasagna. Um, but I certainly can film it and just share my sauce recipe with you. You know, when you make sauce or gravy or whatever you want to call it, it really is an individual taste and in how you like to make it. So I can uh, probably show you what I do when I do make it. Um, in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I love to have thumbs up and I love to have comments. And thank you to my new subscribers. I'm enjoying it. I love doing this and I'm hoping now that I'm no longer on the board, I can come up with a better schedule. I'm actually pulling out a planner and trying to plan some videos in advance. So until the next time, everybody play nice now and have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.